How do we use trigonometry to find the area of a triangle? We know how to find the area of a triangle if we're given some specific information. In the past, if we had a triangle where we knew the base and the height of the triangle, let's do an example where the base is 18 and the height is 10, then we can find the area of the triangle because we had a formula 1 half base times height or in this case, 1 half of 10 times 18, we would calculate the area of the triangle to be 90 square units. Now that's really specific information that we've got, the base being 18 and the height being 10. We need to make sure that, that the height involves a right angle there. But now, given a different situation, say we have a base of 18, but it turns out we don't actually know the height of the triangle but we know another side and it's 12. Well, we're sort of at a loss a bit because we can't use 12 as the height of that triangle. It turns out that's a side. We don't know if it's a right triangle. In this case, it's not a right triangle because we're gonna give you one more angle and this one is 37 degrees. We're gonna call this vertex A. And so now, how do we calculate the area of this triangle? Well turns out we do know something about the height of this triangle because of trigonometry. What we're going to do is we're going to say, well, my question would be, if we do draw a line that represents the height of this triangle with base 18, then we have a right triangle inside our larger triangle. What we want to do is we want to say, all right, study curiosity, what is the value of sine of 37 degrees for this triangle? Well, we know that sine represents the ratio between the leg opposite the angle and the hypotenuse. So we're going to call the leg opposite our angle in our right triangle h, because that's exactly what it is. It's the height of that triangle. So what we can say is we, we can say sine of 37 degrees equals h over our hypotenuse, which is 12. Now, we do a little algebra here. We're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 12, and we have a value for h. Now let's plug this back in. We can calculate the area of the triangle, which is 1 half base times height. b is 18, and our height now is represented by the equation 12 times the sine of 37 degrees. So what we want to do is calculate this out, and the whole thing ends up being 64.996, or about 65 square units. This is the area of the triangle, and we never knew the height in the first place. We did, luckily, know the angle between the two sides that we did know. So let's rewrite everything now in terms of variables that we can use to represent any triangle. So in this case, area equals 1 half base times C, B times C, times the sine of our angle A. So here's our general form of our new equation. Now, it's really similar to our old equation, which is 1 half base times height. We're just representing our height as C times sine A. Now we can solve a number of different problems. For example, what is the area of a triangle with two sides, 5 and 6, an angle between them, 17 degrees? Challenge question. Jennifer wants to build a garden in the shape of an isosceles triangle. One of the congruent sides is equal to 12 yards. If the area of the garden is equal to 55 square yards, find to the nearest tenth of a degree all three angles 
of the triangle.